Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Stitch, the Closet Gamer, and we are here with another episode of Neo 2. Again, apologies for the delay on this episode. Things have just been a bit hectic. Anyway, I have a couple of little side notes that I want to get off and tell you guys about. First of all, our objective today is to get these three side missions done. Uh, it's going to be all three of them. I upgraded my gear recently. I've actually been investing a little bit of time figuring out what exactly I do with all this money I've got. Oh, that's why I've been really working on trying to improve because I really wanted to know what I would do with the actual game money because I had so much of it but now I found out that you basically have to roll for better stats on your equipment so for example you use forge to take like things that, you know if you break down weapons that you don't need and stuff you get given like basic quality items like these then you upgrade into purple grade and then you can make yourself some better gear and then use the tempering skill or tempering option to take this and then you can change it with one of the three things here and then it, it's just basically random on what you get in this slot so if I selected one it'll get rid of it so if I choose that for example notice how all of them have changed and basically that's what you do you have to keep re-rolling and as you can see there the tempering cost the bottom right that shows you you know how much you spend every time you have to every time you want to roll on one of these items so you really want to get like stuff that you want to upgrade your gear i just recently focused on doing it but with my armor so basically life recovery and reta absorption is actually really good it basically every time you kill something and it shoots those little gold soul things out every time i absorb one of them now i get 16 health back same with defense bonus fast wind recovery means that if i get hit or no if i use all my bars I basically recuperate quicker so I don't get staggered for so long like if I use my entire key bar or stamina bar as I've come to describe it to you guys it's just basically adding stats to items I've added toughness to lots of my stuff now so I don't get staggered very easily and I added a couple of little bits to these accessory items because basically you can plug these stats into anything and it'll still affect your character so that's a little bit of a brief overview on smithing and that's basically what you have to do with the money mostly as far as I'm aware because you can't really buy anything of great worth. So with that being said I think we should get on with these side missions because I don't want to hang about for too long. Can I ask you to do something for me and keep a secret so blah blah. See I drop something blah blah blah. Yep 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 it's really replaceable please do this for me. I've got to get something for this bloke whoever the fuck he is. Right, and basically we're going back to the same level we just came from, except now we're doing side mission, not the main mission. So this will be an abridged version of the full level, most likely, because that's what all the other ones have been this far. So we're going in. I basically held off playing this game. I've had a few other games come in as well. That's also what I've kind of divided my time on. I've got Control, which I have, I've been playing a little bit, and I've got Doom recently, the new Doom. But I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. You know, every time, every time I get a new game, I think to myself that I should probably record it. Uh, okay so this is the lightning section outside like it's at the back end of the main level and from what i can see here this is probably going to be a some kind of boss arena or something of that nature um, and i'm probably going to die a bit this is expected it usually is expected when it comes to fucking neo 2 the game which loves to give you a challenge we're going to find out exactly what the crack is here look at that all the boxes and everything regenerate just by going in there kind of feel they shouldn't regenerate but fair enough fair enough it's not going to make a ape of a difference. Right, so let's see what's down here, shall we? Okay, we got the zombie fuckers. <laughs> see that? See all that health? 16, 16, 16, 16. And then I get added health from my helmet as well. Like, sometimes it'll, it's got a percent chance of dropping me an extra few bouts of health. So at the moment, every time I do damage or kill something, I get a flurry of health, which, trust me, it's uh, certainly a benefit. That's why, I look, despite taking a hit there, I've got all my health back without actually having to spend it on anything. Can we go up here, I wonder? Oh, poison blobs. Okay, yeah, we're coming the reverse way back in. See, this is this was outside where all the lightning was going on before the boss. But he can't do shit to me now because he's dead. I've killed him about three, four times now because that's how easy that boss is. See how quick I took him down. I mean, they don't actually get a chance. And even if they did do damage to me, I told you, I get my health back <laughs> from killing them. Because they let that Amrita stuff go, and that's what heals me for 16, 16, 16, 16, depending on how many I actually collect. So if one of those blob things sh dies and shoots out, you know, five of those, like, aura soul blobs, then I'm going to get 16 times five of health. Let's try you son of a bitch. 
See those blobs in me? 16, 16, 16. Just gave me some stuff back. Yeah. Jesus, it does a lot of damage. Oh, it's dead. That was a new enemy. Oh, all these little things. It's like broken glass on the floor or something. I don't know what to expect. Got a few items there. I mean, yeah, despite my weapons do, it does make me invincible. It just makes me a little bit more secure. Any money that damages your weapon or something. Aha, uh -huh. so I can't go that way. We found the scope of that side of the level. That means we're going the cliff route. Magical little cliff route. Fucking great. Oh. Nice try, my friend. Oh. And get my health back. Just never hide to guys. Springs give you your health back. But only while those little things are in there. And then you get a regeneration buff after you leave. So I'm getting my health back. Like kind of Regan style. Oh, a snake. I've learned to not be as terrified of these things as I used to be. Come on then. Nope. Nice try. Down she goes. Jesus Christ. Down you go, you fuck. Come on, buddy. Ah, oh, you fucker. There you go, you fat shit. Eat it, you bastard. Wow. Well, that was a few couple of little surprises that weren't there before. Should've known there'd be a boulder though. Uh, very predictable. Your little friend's dead. Just keeping an eye around the area, making sure there's no other little fucks. No, you don't, zombie. You just gave me all my health back though. Thank you for that. No, no. I'll take that. I'll take that, you fuck. You fucking piece of shit. There we go. I'm grabbing all that that I missed. So far, so good, guys. I mean, this, we're not doing bad. I mean, I've still got a full bar of health. I haven't used any healing items. Actually, no, that's a lie. I have used some, but clearly not enough because I've got them all back. I've still got eight. I'm taking that as a win. Curious about what the actual other side missions are. Come on, then. I just realized something. I'm hearing the sound from the game through my headphones. So I don't want it coming out of my TV because I'm hearing a flipping delayed reaction on it. Don't want my microphone picking up sound from the game. Thank you for that stuff. Ah, that fucking umbrella thing again. Ah, one of those little midget guys. See, those little demon things, if you weaken them enough, they, they fall on the ground and if there's another one of them nearby and they've been taken damage, then they'll just eat the other one and grow bigger. They basically do what they do with you if they get you if they're special, but they do it on members of their own team. Interesting manoeuvre, I have to say. Now, this is where I, that I can actually see on my radar now where enemies are. That's like another little feature that I found that I bolted onto one of my items. Gotta kill those things quick. See, look how many 16s I'm getting back. Fucking insane. Fuck's sake, that was a waste of a fucking arrow. Rested the control on my lap, and for some reason she saw that as a reason to shoot. Fucking got all that back. Keep going. See further route. Knock that down. Holy shit, what is that? Don't you fuck. 
What is that? Some kind of boss. Uh, it's got a health bar, not a boss bar, so that's one thing. Probably can still do a big shit ton of damage though. Oh, you fuck. <sighs> he was an interesting one. As they are underway after losing his temper, they worked harder than anyone else. Ah, well, he took a few hits, let's just say it that way. Really, I probably should have dropped in on him, but. Oh, mission complete. Ah, so that was the end of the mission then, killing that fucking thing. Brilliant. Where's the actual mission exit then? What are you telling me? It's in here somewhere. Ah, he's there. Kick that open. That was an interesting slash kind of boss thing. Fight. Don't know what to call it. Despite that being there, you can't actually go over there. That's, that's interesting. Go back to like the beginning of the game. This is just weird, guys. I was reading up on this the other day. Apparently, there's like shit loads of extra. There's a load of levels in this game. We're like scratching the surface here. You know, 10 episodes in. God knows how many hours of footage I've actually edited. You know, two hours at a time, a significant amount. Just making sure I get everything I possibly can. The chest. Investing my time wisely. Yeah, this leads back into the main body of the area. Okay, well, that's not the supplies. Boss fight thing, whatever the hell it's called. Demon monster thing. Let's chalk that up to a one of three done. One of three, guys. One of three. Fuck. It was most of the level actually, not all of it. Oh Joe, and that's my abacus. No doubt about it. And it took you like you didn't get a scratch. Oh the abacus. Okay. Tokechiro. Got two soul cores. Uh, so I can turn into one of those big fat ugly demon things. And I can shoot like a toxic slime core. That's something I've always wanted to be able to do. So that's that done. There is a Twilight Mission available, but we've already done it. It's Violet Cherry Blossoms. Actually no, we haven't done that one. Recommend level 20, okay. Either way, we're doing the side quest today. Still seems to have some Imagawa clan lollies that large in the Oba, Oda's domain. Nobunaga, that's probably the way you say it. Next mission, guys. But yeah, so basically, if you invest time in upgrading your weapons and armor, the game actually gets a hell of a lot easier as well. That's the whole point of the money. I didn't actually get the point of the money until recently. Uh, this is We've done this level before, if, if it's the level I'm thinking of. Jesus. Oh, I can get a level up. To skill. Just realised I'm really neglecting the skill. I want to try and balance it out a little bit. Well, I should be used to seeing this shithole by now. Jesus, a ninja. So we've got humanoid enemies again. Let's try, my friend. He's dead. Learn your lesson, bitch. Should have known there'd be a little prick lurking in the shadows waiting to backstab me. Naughty naughty. On then, you next. Can you go stagger prick? Oh, he was the boss. Oh, it was weird that he went stagger. Just keeping an eye out. He wasn't the boss. I thought he was because he started talking to me or some shit. Shit. Nothing more there. Oh yeah, but I'm gonna fall the way down because fucking trees. I mean, I've got a waste of fucking healing item. Oh, tough shit, you lost, my friend. You're lost. 
I must have to clean out those humanoid fucking assholes, whatever the fuck they're called. Just getting it clear in my head what my mission is. It's the thing, these assholes fall out of nowhere. Not the easiest thing to actually see. Uh, that's where I started. I'll take this. Got a bit more of my health back. Hmm. I get a feeling that's where I'm meant to be going. That graves around here is insane. I think I've cleared everything though. Just making sure because you never know. To be honest with you, I don't think there's a lot to this level. Yeah, just to go up here and go across the bridge and fight, because that's a dead end. Okay, what's next? Oh my god, it's him. You prick. Fucking hell. Ah. Oh. Yeah, bullshit fucking stunt. You fucking prick. You're gonna fucking die, you ugly ghost cockhead. Just because you had a load of cheats at the beginning of the fight. You're fucking dead, little speck. Yeah, get fucked. Yeah, bullshit. Goodbye, you f Yeah, you're weak. Why, you fucking piece of shit. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished, guys. Maybe the enemy, I can't have anything too well to know no example. Oh, yeah. Ah, some new shifting skills, nice. Could I ask you to retrieve the spear belonging to Master Doe Samurai to buy a father in law? Ah, so we're going back to the snake's den, are we? Ah, so I've got to go back to his estate. Fair enough. We've done two of the missions. What, what could a third help? we got to go get Master Doe San's stuff. Upon handling over these events, I don't relocate to another castle in remote location deep in the mountains. So, yeah, so we're back in the Viper's Sanctum, basically. Ah, uh, again, the back end of the level leading to the front end of the level, no doubt. Because in there is where I fought the snake. Alright, let's pray at the shrine. Let's give it a little prayer. Why the fuck not? Now we're gonna go down here. I see you, asshole. That's one sorted. That I haven't got to worry about. Yeah, this was like the poisonous lair. What's more humanoid for? No, humanoid fights. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, I suppose. It's good because humans can get staggered, the monsters are a little harder to stagger. Huh? You're finished my friend. My friend! You're finished my friend! Headshot. On then. Took him down. They are quite predictable when it comes in terms of telegraphing. Got one of my elixirs back. <laughs> not that I'm not getting my health back just from killing these enemies anyway. There's not a bow and arrow asshole up there. You're all gonna fucking die, you fuck. He's finished. He's 
much gear as I possibly can. Got a shotgun with your fucking name on it. Boom. Didn't like that, did you? Let's try. Got more of my gear back. More of the elusive gear. No, you don't. He's finished. Just gonna keep heading this way. Gonna see if there's anything more to be done. But I basically know a few sections of this level are already shut off, so that's fine. It's what they do in these side missions. It's just basically a main mission, but with sections closed off, so it's, it's not a full mission. It's just a part mission of a mission you've already done. I think they could have maybe done something a little different, change the levels up a bit. for that. At this point just making sure there's nothing too bad anywhere. Holy shit. Fucking hell. The big guy's chasing me. him down. He made the mistake of underestimating me. I'll take all this. I'll take it all, motherfucker. I hate those ogre things. Got way too much health for what they are. Checked over there. Can't go on there. Can't go in any of those holes. The only place to go, we can't go to the left up at the top because that's closed. We can only go to the right, which will probably lead me back through the entryway to this place, which both is and isn't interesting. Keeping an eye on the ceiling a little bit more because I know there's snakes in here, or well, there was anyway. Way right, get my gear back. Checkpoint. Wish I was lost in a giant of the spirit stones. How could this be? All we hold dear, oh really? Right, demon area. Snagged all that. You don't get shit. You don't get shit. You don't get shit. You don't get shit. It's just you come down here, flame head. Oh, for fuck's sake, I keep forgetting those stupid things have to explode because they're fucking illegal shit. Do more fucking damage they don't actually have a fucking right to. Whoa, that's creepy. Holy shit. Jesus, it's a new kind of... He just went through a wall to get to me. Fuck off, did you? You cheat. Oh, I can cheat by going through walls. You don't get to go through a wall, you bloody cheater. Down you go, you fuck. That's what you get for cheating, you fucking bastard. Mission complete. So that thing was the last boss in this level. Well, that's that's the third mission, guys. Not sure how I feel about that. I mean, we're not really deep through the video. It's been about an hour long to get three side quests done. Hey, you actually did it. Well then, and it over already. That's what the Viper would have wanted after all. Yoki course and Gaki course stuff I've already got but I can use them to upgrade other stuff, I guess. Right, so that's the three missions done. 
side missions, side content, whatever you want to call it. I might bolt on as a little extra the violet cherry blossoms because we haven't done that. It's for level 20, so I should be well over leveled for it, but it's Twilight Mission. We haven't done it. We have unlocked more stuff. Character directory. Nothing more for my character. Ah, here we go. Okabe Masatsuna. Masatsuma? I got Satsumas. Sats was a military guy in the service of the Afghan and for Oh, this is interesting. Same matter as the jeweler life. Okay. He must be one of those guys I killed before. Military guy in the service of the Afghan. So these are the guys I fought before. Yeah, but your full master clearly wasn't dead because I had to fight him again. Much harder version of him with stagger resist, basically. So that's that. Yeah, that thing. Creepy looking thing. Time bodies with a single sharp claw on each of their four legs while they have been depicted in several ancient scrolls. Their lower half has been and it eats humans. Yeah, it probably does. That's where my money goes anyway. I think it eats everything. An umbrella. That's what we're going to now. It's not got a lot of life, but it does a shit ton of damage. Yeah, I'm sure it does more than stare at people. So that's those. Let's save it, which I've just done. Here we go guys, we're doing a fourth mission because these ones were wrapped up pretty quickly and we haven't done this level either, so you're getting a little bonus. So this should be first level, Cherry Blossoms. Yeah, it's the first level, but from the looks of it, a harder iteration of the first level. Pair for many swear words, just giving you a heads up. I wonder if it's the full level. I can't open it from this side, there's a shocker. Oh, big demon, come on you monkey fuck. Goodbye. I'll take that. Grab all this shit. Oh fuck. Probably a harder version of this boss. That's great. It wasn't difficult before. bitch hell yeah first time you better believe it you're not such a challenge anymore mate sorry to say that to you see that guys first level revisited join him in hell join him in hell so unlock this area bang i should have known there'd be another one yeah let's try it and you go my friend. We're heading up here. Cue the end key. Fucking coward. And you go you prick. If you had any guts you'd have come and fought me yourself. Here we go. Two on one. And you go. Not bad eh guys? fact that we're coming back here and it's a level 20 area that shouldn't factor into any of this should it I don't know I don't I still don't think it's as tough as the first time anyway should have looked up really I want you to do the same expression as them, I think. I think that's the point. Oh yeah, bullshit. Down you go, you fuck. If you want to use cheap moves, use them on yourself, mate. Use all my healing items on some prick. Just drop that. There you go, you can have that little git. Those little things trade you stuff depending on what you drop. So it can be good stuff. One times out of ten, I'm finding it's mostly disposable shit. I don't know what the rate is for getting good stuff out of him. Oh, but bomb bombs, you fucking bastard things. Is that one done? 
Again, you go eat fucking things. I hate those head thing, whatever the hell they're called. Bomb bombs, I'm calling them because they just remind me of those things from Final Fantasy. Bomb bombs or whatever. Stupid name. Alright, I've got two drop down points, but I'm gonna take out this guy. Thank you for that. So then I'll take me out here. Down you go, fuck. Oh yeah, bullshit bite, bullshit, bullshit, pitiful, yeah, gutless. Fucking bitch. Let's try, you're not going back any further, bitch. There you go. Oh, a snake. Let's try. You get nothing. You'll get nothing. I might have actually come the right way initially. Yeah, because I can still go through there. This may very well be like the full first level again. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Wondering if I can go the other way. I'm going to try that. Because there's no mushrooms to pick up, like those Kodama things. That's what they call them, they Kodamas. Go down here. Oh no. A village cemetery key. Open the door. Drop this little dude something. What that? I don't know. I just drop him something just so he can get something. When they jump, they're usually happy. I don't know what it means if hey, you get them ecstatic. If their moods change and you can get a better loot. Head this way. Down that arsehole goes. Fucking prick. Get for you. Goodbye, prick. Yeah. Put that little asshole down. Didn't realise this would be like just a hard version of like a full level. I thought you'd get still an abridged level, like a side quest, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Oh, hammer broke. you go my friend down you go join your buddies in hell join your brothers in hell you motherfucker <laughs> fucking snake oh yes bull shit bullshit you little bitch thank you for my stuff Take all that. Thank you. Wonder if there'll be a harder version of the end boss too for this level. That weird horse thing. And again, the ball wasn't exactly a nightmare this time around. <laughs> Down you go, bitch. Oh yeah, I'll take you, kitty cat. Cool. Prefer good things over bad things, mate. Down you go, bitch. Come on then, prefer you fight me in familiar territory. So now those things actually talk, whereas before they just appeared and disappeared. Just wondering how close he comes. Not close. Yeah. Purged. No little demon, I expect you to die, you motherfucker. Yeah, look at your backpedaling with the bag. In the water you go, frick. Yeah, we've done that opening area. Glad I've got some of my healing items back. I was down to like two a minute ago, so nice to know you're back in with a chance again. Should have started attacking immediately. You can come up here and get yourself some, or... Down to get you. Something else has spotted me. What is it? Ah, uh, one of these things. These aren't particularly scary. Not anymore. When I first saw them, they were. That's the thing about this game. Once you get used to the enemies, you find them much less of a threat. That snake was just standing there. Unbelievable. It is quite unbelievable. So, that's this area cleared downstairs. 
it. No thanks to those bomb things. Chesty chest. Go upstairs and have a look. What have we got up here? Ah, uh, loaded wank. Brilliant. So far so good guys. We're getting through this level once again. Oh, what's in there? This time there's actually people fighting inside there from before. There was just someone telling me not to hurt them. And offering me swag to leave them alone. Zombie man. This is finished. Ah, you again. What should I leave for you this time? There you go. You can have that. I need to test what these little guys do more. Or if it's just a random thing they give you. I have been spotted by something. He's finished. Oh, you fucking... Get fucked. Come on, you fucking coward. Now you die. Pig. You're coming with me. Down he goes. Saving it here. I'm not running all the way back here because of some prick. That monkey just proved it to me. Not just some prick. Some cheating prick. He thinks he's hard. being the hammer brosif so that is him finished there we go saved myself a bit of hassle sent one of your own kind onto you ah uh. gesture very nice right here now I can open this door okay looks like there is gonna be another boss fight here we go guys <laughs> nice try. 
try. <laughs> Goodbye. <sighs> Bitch. Took him down. Take my soul court. Hell yeah. Look how badass my demon form looks. It does look quite cool. Alright. Victory, guys. Four missions. Well, three submissions and practically a main mission because it's basically the first mission again. But it is a main mission because I had to get all the way to the boss once again and kill him again in hard mode. Perverted the land has dispensed with crimson haze faded, restoring the key to its original colour. You can simply feed off twilight. Excellent. So I've got some high quality leather and stuff, which is again what you need to make better gear, like add better things onto your armour and stuff. Soul call. Oh, different move from the Mizuki. That's cool. Yeah, so you can redo it again and get more. But I did it just to do it. Well, that is as far as I'm getting for this episode, guys. Um, thank you for tuning in. Next episode, we'll be looking at the mysterious One Night Castle, which is the next main mission. And obviously, we'll be progressing the story. But in the interim, I'll probably do a bit of farming, get a bit stronger and stuff, so that we can take on the next one with relative ease and hopefully with less stress and tantrips. <laughs> anyway guys thank you for tuning in this is stitch the closet gamer signing out you've been watching episode 11 of our neo series and i can't wait to see you in the next episode because it's going to be a blast all right guys have a good night take care bye bye